friends just crying, you know, in my cute little Gus Gus shirt. What a way to start the day, just already sobbing. Oh man, I just had not a fun appointment. I'm trying to get some work done, but I just keep crying. And back in the day, whenever I would feel like overwhelmed or sad or whatever, kind of basically any emotion on the planet, I would vlog about it and I would talk about it because it genuinely made me feel so much better to talk it out loud with you guys. And I loved hearing your guys' responses to it and getting advice from people. And like, it genuinely does make me feel better to have like this community of people to talk to and um, get my feelings out. I don't do it as much anymore because I think I'm just worried about what people will say. But I'm super like feeling very sad right now. I just was sitting here with it and I was like, I want to, I want to talk about this. I just had um, an appointment with my psychiatrist and she wants me to go back on antidepressants and I shouldn't be sad about that because medication is a good thing and help and has saved so many people and helped so many people and I'm such an advocate for like medication and um I think it's so it can be so great and so important and so helpful so I don't want anyone to misconstrue my sadness about this like that like it's bad or wrong to take medication I think it's so good and so important if that's what's right for you and and what your doctor and therapists and whatever think is best for you to be like the best version of yourself I think I'm just sad that like I'm still depressed <laughs> I'm sad that I like couldn't beat it on my own and fix it and like I feel like I've failed and I know that's stupid like I know that's dumb like my doctor literally was like Oh yeah, that makes sense. Like people with diabetes, they just like think about it and like work on themselves and like it goes away. And people with high blood pressure, they just like, you know, think about it and think about how it should be better and then it gets better, right? <laughs> I was like, no. She's like, right, like this is like, it's an illness. Like, and I've taken antidepressants before. I've taken anti-anxiety medication before. I've done this. I think I've just always been like a very happy person my whole life. Like, and so the idea that I need that is like, just, I'm like, no, that's not me. Like, I don't need that. Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't want to be sad anymore. I don't want to feel anxious anymore. I don't want to have anxiety attacks and like panic attacks anymore. And like, so I know this is like a good thing. But she mentioned like, you know, you're, you're kind of always like on the verge of tears and like the smallest things will make me burst into tears, which hello, like I do cry a lot. And you know, that's not necessarily something I want to change about myself. Like I like that I'm an emotional person and I'm sensitive. Like those are things that I think can be good qualities in a person. And I like that I'm comfortable enough with my emotions that I'm able to cry. And like, those are good things I think, but that's not what she was talking about. Like, it's like, I'm, it's almost like, I'm always kind of holding my breath a little bit to try to stop tears from coming out and like the smallest things can trigger those tears to flow and and that's what we're trying to like help like you know I shouldn't be on the verge of tears all the time I shouldn't feel like I'm holding my breath all day long I think of I am okay and like I will be okay and I you know I, I'm fine and I will be fine you know, I go through most of my days like happy and playing with my kids and focusing on my kids and my work and life and you know, whatever. But like deep down, like there is this really deep sadness and anxiety and panic and it's just kind of like festering under there underneath like, you know, me trying to do fun, happy things and and trying to like be a good mom and, and do my job and be okay and like stay positive and all of that like underneath festering underneath all that is like this sadness and and I wish I could like fix it myself like and I know that's so stupid but I don't know I'm feeling sad about it and I know I shouldn't be but I am and I have therapy later today so I'll be able to talk about all this but I want to be able to talk about these things online like I used to and I know people are gonna say whatever they're gonna say 
but this is just what I'm going through right now. I'm frustrated with myself that like I'm still not okay. That's so frustrating. I'm sick of being the person that's not okay that everyone needs to like look out for and like make sure she's okay because I'm so fragile and I'm such a mess. Like oh, I don't want to. I just want to be like my happy self. Like I just want to be. <laughs> And I know, like, I really do know, like, the logical side of this, that, like, this is a good thing, this is a step in a, a good direction to, to help all these things that I'm struggling with and I'm sad about, like, this is one of the things that you can do to, like, try to help that and um, make things better. But, like, there's some stigma that's attached to it. I don't know if just, like, society has put that in my mind or why that's in there, but there's still just, like, this, like, incorrect assumption that you are a failure and like there's something wrong with you that like you can't just be okay like I know that's stupid I know that's wrong but like I still feel that way and it's so frustrating that and there's that's frustrating too that like I know that it's that's not true but still feel that way it doesn't make any sense Ugh. I don't know I feel like when I went off antidepressants and anti-anxiety meds I was like I did it. Like, I'm okay and I don't need those anymore. And like, good for you. Pat on the back. Like, that was the goal. And so then to need to go back on them feels that I think that's part of it. It's like, it feels like I failed because I, I succeeded at something. And then now I have to go back and start it over again. I'm just disappointed, I guess. Hopefully I can turn the day around. <laughs> Look at me, I'm already doing it. I'm already like, I can just fix it myself. <laughs> but you know what? When you're a mom, you have to. Like, I can't be like this. Like, I have to take care of my kids. I have to live life. Like, I have to, you know, be okay. And so that's what I'm going to do. I saw a comment the other day. It wasn't about this stuff. It was about um, being a twin parent. And someone had said, like, you know, people ask all the time, like, how do you do it with twins? And the answer is like, because you just do, you just have to. Like, you just have, you just do it because you have to. Like, you just have to survive. You have to figure it out. I love that I'm talking about all this with a t-shirt. <laughs> this Gus Gus with my cat screaming all over it. Okay, I have work to do, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> but hopefully the next clip you'll see me in, I'm like just happy and chilling and like doing something fun. Um, but there you go, guys. That's how I'm feeling right now. Bye. We are gonna make some cookies. Let's make some cookies. A cookie. Let's make a cookie. A cookie. You're gonna go right on the pan. I'm gonna cook you for dinner. Give me a. Okay, you sit right here. Can you roll this ball for me? I can do it. What about this one? I think this is a way to do it. I think you got one for me. Mm hmm. Is that enough? No, that's not enough. Oh, it's not enough. Thank you very much. Don't eat one, whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> can I eat a new one? You can have one more. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is it yummy? Mm -mm -mm. Good job. You did it. All right, say see you in 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? What's my name? Colleen. Yeah, what's your name? No, Colleen Banger. Colleen Banger. No, no, Colleen Banger. Colleen. Yeah, that's like Colleen Banger. Colleen Banger. I'm too. And what's your too? And what? And I, 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 I'm too much. Five. No, you're too so old. I'm five. Too my old. You too? I'm five. Can you do that? Yeah, two. <laughs> can you show me how to do a butterfly? You cross your hands. Okay, and then what? You, have, you flap your hands. Like that? Yes, like that. That's very good. Hello, everyone. It's been a doozy of a day. Let me turn on some lights in here. So much better. Yesterday was a very rough day for me emotionally. Today was a better day emotionally, but physically, real garbage. I just randomly fainted. I'll get into that in a minute. Right now, I'm just looking for some dinner. I'm going to go with world's best macaroni and cheese. Hello. 375, go. So yeah, I fainted earlier. And after the fainting spell was over and I was feeling a little bit better, I tried to vlog a little bit. I don't know how coherent I was. Though, so we'll see if any of that is usable footage. Well, 
I just fainted. That was very strange. This has been a very strange vlog. <laughs> I'm not in the location where I fainted, but I am just laying down and I'm not wearing a shirt because at some point I took off my shirt, although I don't remember that part. My stomach was feeling very upset. And so I went to the bathroom and I was like, maybe I just need to like get it out. You know, number two might be calling. I couldn't tell if I was gonna throw up, have diarrhea or faint. I didn't know what was going on with my body. My body just felt very weird. My stomach hurt so bad. Like the pain was like so bad. And then all of a sudden I felt like my vision going black and my like, like the audio of my ears and started to go and I was like, oh, I need to get on the ground or else I'm gonna fall and get hurt. I got down on the ground and then I opened my eyes later and I was on the ground in the bathroom with no shirt on. I laid there for 15 minutes and then I stood up and I still feel kind of gross. So I tried to leave the bathroom. And I just walked into Flynn's room. I was like, nah, I can't. So then I just laid down in Flynn's bathroom. What the heck? It's so weird. I feel better than I did. I still feel bad. I think just ever since I went through my pregnancies, my body's just changed a lot. And so I think for some reason my body reacts to to intense physical pain with fainting, but I'm feeling so much better now. I'm like completely fine. I just feel really tired because it was like a big chunk of the day that I was like feeling weird and had to lay on the floor, but like I'm fine. I know the oven's not preheated, I know, but I don't want to just stand in the kitchen for like 20 minutes waiting for this preheat, so I'm impatient. All right, so that is in the oven and cooking, and I wanted to show you guys something really quick. I started framing the random things I was watercoloring for Flint, so like here's the cuttlefish, and then the little rainbow trout. That I painted. There's one more. Where to go? I haven't framed this one yet because I'm not done with it. It got all messed up because Daisy dumped a entire cup of water onto it, which you think would be fine for watercolors, but it just made all these really weird like stains and streaks on it. So I'm gonna try to like adjust that and fix that. But this is a crawfish. I'll frame that eventually. He also wants me to finish the watercoloring that I started of him a couple weeks ago. Week ago, I don't know, but I used the wrong kind of paper, so it started like ripping and tearing, and so I don't really want to finish it. But he wants me to finish and frame that for him too. And then I'm still working on the water color that I started last night that I'm gonna show you now. A lot of you guys were asking me to show you like the process of watercoloring. I don't know what I'm doing. I literally just like look at a picture of something and try to like trace it and then just try to color it in with similar colors. Like I don't know what I'm doing. I would never in a billion years consider myself to be like an artist, but there were a lot of uh, comments and questions in the last couple weeks asking me to show you guys like the process of like my watercolor. So if anyone has any tips on like how to watercolor better, I would love to have them. I'm just going to film myself doing this watercolor painting and I probably won't finish it. I don't think I've ever finished a painting fully. I've been like, it's done. There's always something else I want to fix or do or make better. And I don't think I've ever finished anything. I think I usually just give up. I will not finish this painting in this vlog, but I will show you the process of starting the painting in this vlog. Okay, goodbye. All right, let's get started. So all the watercolors that I use are pretty cheap. I get them at like the dollar store or TikTok shop. And then I try to decide what I'm going to paint. So here I'm just looking up different pictures of Vancouver, which is my favorite city in the whole world. And then I decided I wanted to try to combine like Vancouver with my kids. And so I found a photo of my kids that I liked and I'm gonna try to mix it in with a photo of the woods. So the first thing I do is just trace the photo that I want to paint just through the light on my phone, which this does not work well. I don't recommend this. I need like one of those little light table things that people use, like those tracing light tables. But anyway, that's what I do first until I, it looks kind of like what I want it to look like. And then I just start painting. And sorry for the bad lighting, but I use my phone as my main source of light when I'm painting because I can use the photo that's on my phone for a reference for color. And the flashlight on the back of my phone helps me to direct light exactly in the location that I am painting to make sure that I'm doing it the colors that I want. But it means that the lighting in this video isn't so great, so I apologize for that. So once I finished coloring in the kids, then I went on to do the woods. So I just looked at different reference photos of trees in Vancouver, and I just tried to match colors as best as I could. And I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making it up as I go. And here's where I ended last night. And then I continued painting tonight. And I have to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with myself that I kept working on this because now when I look back at how it looked last night, I just, I think I liked it better when it was more like a fog light mystical woodsy watercolor and now it looks like I just tried too hard or something but the reason I chose to paint this is because I've been trying to paint things lately that like will inspire me in some way and so I wanted to paint something that had to do with my favorite musical of all time which is Into the Woods by Stephen Sondheim and maybe put like a lyric from the musical on the painting but when I was trying to choose a lyric to put on the painting the song I kept going back to was the song children will listen the lyrics are so good and so I wanted to figure out a way to paint my children walking into the woods and then put the quote or the lyrics somewhere in the painting. I don't know where yet. So that was the inspiration behind this painting. I'm not finished with it yet. And with that, I am going to say goodnight to all of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. So here she is, the final moment. So I need your guys' advice. I'm doing like a wall of 
like things that inspire me. So I have this, which is a quote from Cher, but it's a replica of something that was in a Taylor Swift music video. You need to calm down. I watercolored this whale that's gonna go on the wall and whales are, for me, they mean like everything's gonna be okay. They're like a reminder of that. And then I wanna do a bunch of like theater quotes because I'm a theater nerd. And so this is from Seussical. I know people hate on Seussical, but I painted like a bow that I wore when I was in Seussical the Musical and the lyric, tell yourself how lucky you are is from Seussical the Musical. So I watercolored that. And then this, I was gonna put the lyrics to children will listen on this, but there's a lot of lyrics and I don't really know how I would do it. Does anyone have any suggestions? Should I put the lyrics to the song on this somewhere or should I just leave it as is? Or is there a creative way that I, I don't know. What do you guys think? How do I put the lyrics to that? I also have artwork from other family members and pictures and things that just inspire me and I'm just gonna have a wall of inspiration. And so that's where that's gonna go. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about what I should do with the lyrics on that thing. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys another day. Goodbye. Careful the things you say, children will listen. Careful the things you do, children will see.